Hello YouTube! Welcome to a nice little episode starting series point of how to build stuff. In today's first episode, I'm going to show you how to build a quick little hull system or how to basically get some kind of hull built and started as requested from some of my many friends from Discord and all over places from the Stormworks community. I figured I could show some people. I mean, there are very, very many different ways to build a ship in Stormworks. I mean, you could build mini boats, large boats, you could build a boat that doesn't look like a boat, you could build a boat train. I've seen a Thomas the Tank Engine raft, literally powered by a little electric motor, but we're not going to get into that. So, key notes to start and think about. When building a ship, <coughs> uh oh. Oh no, don't do that. Don't make those noises or else people are going to think you got coronad. <laughs> Alright. So first, you start off with a little extension. Kind of like work your way to the front. Now another thing too, a lot of times it's easier to start off small. So build something small if you're really not used to stuff. But if you're at that point where it's like, okay, I want to build something big. But I'm tired of it flipping over. So here's simple ways. Some ways that I've learned from through either Aqua or from Einstein or a whole bunch of many people that I will link in the description. So let's bring this down a bit. So as you can see, starting off simple. Now depending on how many floors you want, it's always good to get a basic reference. And to do that, I like to just use good old fashioned doors like that. Ah, there we go. Ah, so that worked perfect. So that should line up just like that. Perfect. So that'll be a floor. Whoop. Get rid of that for now. And now I notice a lot of people when they go to build. Now for instance, we'll just keep that for now, but there's something like this. I called it the yeet. Yeah. Yeet. For instance, a lot of people start building a ship and they'll start building hulls and then it closes in and then all of a sudden it's like you know they just you know yeah yeah so this this is no longer required anymore we don't we don't need to do this but mind you in stormworks a lot of times having a flat bottom makes a lot of buoyancy sense but we don't want to have some weird flat bottom uh... where's the auto state? uh oh it didn't save what we were just working on. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Luckily, we got nowhere far. So let's just get this going. So let's just extend this all the way out. Let's get this nice long. Build a nice system hall. And bring her down. Now, I'm not really going to need to use the door so much as a reference. But, just because I want to help by everyone out here. There we go, that works just like that. Now, here, here's somewhere you can give it just a little bit of a tip and see. Tuppix, Tuppix. That's all you need is Tuppix. Tuppix, Tuppins, however they pronounce it. And then, so yeah, that kind of gives a little angle, or, nope, don't need doors. We got all these beautiful wedges, and all these awesome pyramids, and inverse pyramids, and more pyramid. Why is everything a pyramid? Wow, they really like pyramids. So it doesn't look like much. It never will look like much. Now, I'll just get rid of the door. We'll get rid of the... To an extent. Yeah, I'll keep the warm block there. That'll help keep for reference for later. And... Hmm. Actually, do you know what? Yeah, no. We'll, we'll just keep it simple today. Because sometimes triangles can be fought with a lot of the day. So we'll just do it simple. So now you got your bottom. Okay, uh, let's add a bit more to the front here, just before, just so it all lines up. There we go. Right. 
So now we're going to want to take our selection grid. This is where things get a little fun. So you take your selection grid, you resize, do 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 do, extend all the way down, and yeah. Copy. Or yeah, I guess you could save this first. Just in case, we'll save this as our. We'll save it as like a preset one or something weird. Now, here is the very important thing. Notice this, this X plane. You're going to be pretty much wanting to build with this the whole time when you're doing your haul. If you forget to turn this on and off and you start doing something on one side, it's not going to do it on the other side. So then you're going to be spending a lot of time trying to build your ship when really it could have just been done and easy. But unfortunately, in this mode, it doesn't really do it for you. So what we have to do is keep in mind now what you're seeing is you just copy and paste a piece over and over it when you do one side you bring it to one side back over they could slowly start bringing it down see a lot of times you'll see it, this is a lot more further extended but for instance when building the Wilhelm I did this system so yeah so you essentially followed through this process over and over and over until you have a whole bunch of what you want to say are oops come on move red line red line ah there we go now as you can see this could be a very tedious daunting process but at the same time it's a good way to get a nice little start going as you notice I slowly push them back further and further so three yeah we're not off course we're not like in a sinking adventure keep it at three for now we can always widen it out a little more as again said at the beginning this is just one one way of building ships there are many forms and probably a lot faster ways or easier ways or who knows I just know anytime I like to start a new project if I want to get a really good idea of how I want my ship to look I usually start with this way that way it's easy to nimble with and delete stuff here and there and let's bring that to about three yeah Now you're probably wondering why I'm spacing it out, giving it the arcness, but as you can see, it's starting to kind of give its own little mini shape. Luckily, we're going to make the bottom a little bit more roughed out on the sides. That way it's not wanting to roll on a heavy, heavy ankle. Oh yeah, this might be really long. Who knows, I might be onto something here. This might be something to want to keep following up on. Might have to make an episode two for building building parts. Oh, would you look at that? Everything's separated. So what would happen if I just, I don't know, spawn this in just like this? Here, let's let's find out. So you spawn it in and it's just a bunch of slivers. Literally just a bunch of random pieces of timber and timber. Sad face. So as you can see, this is where the merging comes in handy. Ooh. Looks like an old TV box color set. So before we actually continue, I do want to just kind of give it some more on the sides. Because it's definitely not wide enough. Do, 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 do. Did we put in that slice? Yes, we did. It's like fitting slices of toast in between the toaster slot after already toasting five pieces of toast. Who eats that many toast? that many toasts that is not how you say things look at this all this quarantine's got people's vocabulary all messed up okay it looks good it's kind of wide but I mean it's got it's mostly like a skeleton look at that it's even got a little reference for our floor so we can easily keep that in mind 
Yeah, I'd say that's wide enough. All right. So now that we're done with that. Okay. And click. And boom. Now we have one whole one whole ship. Now another thing you could have done if you didn't want to build on the sax asymmetry style, you could build one side of the ship in theory and then copy and paste that whole side and then flip it and put it onto its side as does many people and then that usually works out whoa whoa we got a lot of build space this thing might be really long okay so now for closing in the bow because we can pretty much either have we can eat now here's where I like to have fun because we already have our triangles we have a bit of, bit of an idea of how we could form this bow so let's try using some inverse pyramids. Nothing super fancy. Going back to basics. Back to basics. With wedges. Now let's see what we can pry up here. Whoops. New keyboard. Gotta love that flipping sound. Yeah. So this is where the whole deleting thing. So I kind of forgot to delete these parts. So we'll just quickly fix that. We just know we want to go under. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, oh boy. We'll just clear them all out for now. We'll keep the ones in the front, because those are going to stay. Those will help line up the bow really nice. Now, as they say in the old song, started from the bottom, now we're here. And now you're just going to want to inverse pyramid the whole bottom whoops you oop, little devil ah uh, there we go flip 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 now I do one good tip too to keep in mind try not to fill in the walls on the sides too early because a lot of times you're going to find building just straightening that like that is just going to cause some weird float issues. Because we're actually going to give this a more extended bow. Bad, that's probably not even the proper terms. But essentially we're just going to make the sides wider. To a certain to a certain width though. So not like right off the bat. So, uh, yeah, that should work right there. Next we do continue with our inverses do 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 that covers that up covers that up yeah now after a while you get really really good with the triangles and just seeing how things play together so for instance as long as I, it's always good to just keep building the one block in that spots first. That way you're not switching in and out. There's that. Oh, that needs to flip. Flip, 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 flip. Ooh, ah, oh, yeah. See, there we go. As we bring them, bring in more of the triangles, we start to actually see the triangles. Uh, yeah, that won't work right there. Doop, 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 doop. Yeah, I want to give this a nice... Persatious bow. That's not even a word. Well, maybe we'll make it one. There we go. Just like that. See, now we're starting to get somewhere, and I think this is actually kind of starting to take a nice, de decent shape so far. I think I might have to actually save this. Yeah, don't don't forget to save periodically, because you never know when you might have to go back. You have to 
either go back and fix something you didn't like or you looked at something and you thought oh that's not working so it's always good to save like halfway points but rule of rule of tip just saying if you have like 20 to 30 different subscriptions who yeah that might that might get hard to look through oh yeah here we go Just like that closes that in so we're not having a fill oops new computer I'm still used trying to get used to a new keyboard there we go put that that comes down enough ooh okay I see ah uh, yes one spot to close in with aha simple the only question is how close of a bow can we get completed? So with our bow pretty much almost done and actually looking not too shabby using pretty much just the basics we can start to yeah we'll put that in we'll try it. let's let's get an idea of what the top could look like just adding in the little things if we don't like it that's okay we'll just call it a happy mistake we can just easily get rid of it it's not like we're in it's not like when Bob Ross paints, he has to start fresh. <laughs> Look at that! As you can see, you start to follow through, and you're going to have yourself a nice, beautiful looking bow with all the detail necessary to kind of give it also that nice push through the water. Oh, this is definitely turning out into something, into some kind of new progress. Who knows, maybe it might be a new icebreaker. You can always use more icebreakers. Nope, that's not going to work. Long square, bit, triangle. Learn your shapes, know them. Ooh. See, as you can see, I've kind of started building all over the place which is a dangerous thing because then you start to lose track. But that's okay. It's all as long as you double check. Double check your work. I just want to see how much of the bow we can get closed in at this point. Ooh, I see. Now the only thing we didn't do unfortunately was reference for the next floor, but you know what, that's going to be okay. We're just going to have this be uh, one, two, three, maybe four, maybe four floors, like a helm, a helm's top. Because another thing in Stormworks you got to keep in mind, the taller your ship, the more it's going to want to list and lean and when you go to put fuel in it. For instance, when the Wilhelm's completely out of fuel, it will literally list to the most annoying angle. But that's, I mean, again, that could pro that would happen in some uh, sense of life. I mean, the ship would be too light. I mean, took it all the fuel and ballast and cargo and crew. <laughs> It'd be like a child's throwing toy, bathtub toys beyond. Aha, perfect. Good thing we didn't close that off like that. Because you want to try and save weight, but at the same time, your bottom wants to carry most of the weight. So, for instance, notice how 
hopefully, the plan is to make this spot the, the red line. But that might even be too tall. So if I can get this, but depending on this little block right here, this little pink mass, this is going to be the most important thing to follow through. Because once you do have your hull completed, like to your standards and your liking, again, be creative. You can build what you want. It's a game. Don't be afraid. I mean, there are far worse things on the creations page, but they're not that bad. Everything that's created is in some idea or another someone's creation. So it's a good creation. Keep that in mind, people. But yeah, this hopefully will help get you started on how to build build a bow. If you like what you're seeing, I will continue to upload more episodes of this and you can see and watch me develop this new ship that will become a part of the AMC fleet. Cause yeah, this is it's starting to come through. It has a bit of shape. You can slowly see the character building. What is going on there though? Something look some looks iffy. Something looks off there. I don't like it. Oh I forgot a side. That's weird. That might be a bug. It would have to be a bug because I've been building on the one whole side. Oh well. Anyway, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. And we will see you again.